Frugal friends, welcome back. My name is Julie, and today we are in my bedroom. Oh yes, it is time for the Temu makeover to begin. Frugal friends, today's video is sponsored by Temu.com. All of the same products that you love to get elsewhere, but for a lot less. Not only that, Temu is giving our viewers an extra 30% off with our discount code. Thank you, Temu. Now let's get back to the declutter. Will we get all of it done in this video? Absolutely not. I want to paint. I want to put new curtains. I want to change up my bed and even <gasps> put a headboard. Those are not happening today, but what we are doing is opening up all of our fabulous Temu bedroom products. We're going to use those. We've done loads of decluttering, and now it is time to use these products to get organized. For the underbed storage, we have several options from Temu. Some of them have windows, like this one, and it's not going to just be the clothes that I'm waiting to fit into again. It's also going to be my wedding dresses, special dresses from my life or from my kids' lives, like blessings, baptisms, that kind of thing. Those are all handmade and they are family heirlooms. So even though we don't do religion anymore, we are absolutely keeping those family heirlooms. But I need a place to store them way better than where they are now, which is just taking up a load of space in my closet. So there was that option and then this one, and it's a longer one. I think it has windows, it does. It also has windows. This one, oh, I love it. That one has a window also. This, I'm gonna put this together. It is the wall hanging pocket thing. There we go. It's on that little dowel. And then you've got the three pockets. Run this bit of, what, string through here. And the plan for this is it's gonna go in the closet and hold some of my Disney stuff. If you are new to the Frugal Family, then you might not know that Mama is a massive Disney nerd, a Disney adult, and not ashamed. We have a lot of Disney stuff. We try to visit the parks as often as possible, and all of those kinds of things are in my closet in a stack of drawers that I'd really like to not have there. So maybe we can fit some here. There are also these, there's two of them. It's this long kind of really thick, strong ribbon on a hook with a bunch of little, oh, like clamps. And I'm thinking our Disney hats, maybe our little backpacks, they might go on these also in the closet. We are wanting to put so many things in the closet. In order to do that, we're gonna have to go through again and do another round of decluttering because how am I gonna fit all this in the closet when it still has all, all that other stuff in there? Taking the wedding dresses out, that will help. I know it sounds weird. Wedding dresses. Yes, I've been married twice. And the first dress my mom made by hand. So obviously I'm keeping that even though the marriage didn't work out. And then I've been married this August. It'll be 18 years to my now current and forever husband, James. So of course I want that dress too. Do you guys store your wedding dresses or any family wedding dresses? Please tell me in the comments. So getting the wedding dresses out of there and into some of this packaging and under the bed will make a huge difference. And then getting the drawer unit that has the Disney stuff, getting that out will also make a big difference. All right, this is not for the closet. This is for the dresser, but I'm a little nervous. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna fit. It's pretty big. We'll try, okay, we will try and see if that will fit in my dresser. And I can try right now. Bad news, it's too tall. My hope for this one had been socks and underwear, but it doesn't look like that's gonna work. This is another one, but I'm not sure which kind it is because there are several different options of kind of setups on it, and I don't remember what all I ordered. I don't think I ordered doubles of it though, so it should be a different one. Yeah, okay, check that out. This one, oh, I like that. Ooh, probably it's not gonna fit, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I can shut it. I've kind of got to force the drawer a little, but think how cute that would be to have like all of my socks and, you know, under things in that. I think that would be fantastic. And it is way better quality than I had the right to hope for. This is fantastic. It feels very solid. It folds up nice and easily for storage. And check this out on the back when you have it open, you zip it so it stays. That is super duper. Oh, I like that a lot. This should be one of the cute little baskets. Mm -hmm. So it's just a, a cloth 
basket with handles. Feels like it's made out of like a, a plasticky canvas kind of a thing. Feels pretty durable. It's got a wire rim. I don't know what I'm going to put in this or where it's even gonna go. I just, when I made the order, I was like, okay, what might I maybe possibly need <laughs> that they have that's available to me to use in my bedroom makeover? We'll see, I don't know yet. I don't know. I, I do know that kind of the plan was that these would store something really light, like fabrics. This, I'm almost certain, is another of those wall hanging things with pockets. Yes, it is. So this one is the yellow one. Isn't that fun, those bright colors? So speaking of colors, for the room makeover, I am going to do a lot of gray, lots of different shades of gray, just different tones, different moods of gray. Do not go 50 shades on me, okay? We're not there, even though we're in my bedroom. Why is Phyllis so aroused? She's listening to 50 Shades of Grey. Well, there you go. That's not where we're going, all right? This is family friendly. So, <laughs> but I do, I wanna do a lot of grey and then lots of punches and pops of red. So this doesn't quite work with that, but where it will be in the closet, I don't know, maybe that'll be okay. I ordered this for all my scarves. I also ordered a bunch of blue painter's tape from Temu. Some of you will remember in the initial unboxing. And I'll be using that because it's probably gonna be the main, this green wall over here. It was green when we bought the house. That's probably the main one that I'm gonna paint. I don't know that I wanna really change the, the white walls. I'm thinking about it. I guess it would make sense maybe if we did like, I know there's paint that's white, but has just a hint of gray kind of undertones. And then maybe that wall do like dark gray. Um, another little phone caddy with the sticker. And that is gonna go right next to my bed. I'm hoping to move out my bedside table. The tricky thing about it is my husband made it in high school in wood shop. And so he doesn't wanna get rid of it, but I don't want it there anymore. I will be doing a video coming soon of decluttering that and getting it ready to move out. And you will see it is just a major clutter catcher. And then behind it, we end up with spiders and God knows what else. So, uh-uh. I want that gone. I want just a little floating shelf that will hold like my water bottle, my earbuds, my glasses, you know, that kind of thing. And then have this on the wall next to it. That will hold my phone. Actually, it would hold this too. This is gonna go right into our Disney Parks traveling stuff. It's that fabulous little jewelry box. There is the big collapsible tote. That's gonna go in the closet. Also, we have the crow lamp. And I think the little floating shelf will be plenty big enough to hold this and the couple other things like I was telling you. This one, it's gonna be so awesome. He's gonna hold the light bulb in his mouth, be there, oh, and with all the like grays and everything, oh my God, that's gonna be amazing. I cannot forget to tell you about the knee pillow. I have been using this, it is fantastic. I have so many back problems and you guys know this body is a burning down circus, okay? So anything that I can find that is non-invasive and not expensive that will help with like my posture and just my pain, I'm jumping on that. Or I'm putting it between, okay, that's gonna get us demonetized. <laughs> We'll save that for the grown-up channel, Frugal Mama's Time Out. You put this in between your knees, okay? <laughs> and it helps realign your whole body. And, and really, you feel the difference after the first night sleeping with this. Finally. Oh, I'm so excited to open this. This is the blanket. <gasps> oh, it is soft. And I was right. It does start fluffing up when you get it out of there. This... Oh no, oh no. Oh, again, don't wanna get demonetized, okay? <laughs> this is fantastic. We're gonna go ahead and spread this out over my bed and see how it looks. Now, here's the thing. Should I start using like this and certain other things when I still have a wall to paint? Well, actually all of these walls to paint, that does seem a little bit silly, like we're jumping the gun, but guys, Life is so short and this is so soft. I'm putting it on my bed.
It definitely doesn't quite cover the bed, but I do know that they have one size bigger than this. So what I'm gonna do is keep this as like a end of your bed blanket, like a throw blanket maybe, and then get the larger size for the rest of it. Or maybe I'll end up just getting a whole new comforter set. And then again, this could be the end of the bed blanket. Oh, it's so soft though. <laughs> Woo! Okay. We are gonna take all of this down, oh my goodness. And I'm probably going to also just take all of my clothes, which really is not that many anymore. Like that's where mine stops and then the rest of that is James's. I'm gonna go ahead and take all of this out. I'm also gonna take out the shoe holders that are down there. I know James's is like falling apart. So that just needs to go bye-bye. Gonna take all these down, going to move the sewing machine, not sure where yet. And yeah, we're gonna pull all of this out. And then like that bag right there, what is this rug doing here? Why is that there? Oh my God. This is why we need to declutter, frugal friends. But that bag has my wedding dresses. So I think the first order of business is to just start pulling stuff out and putting it here on the bed where I have plenty of room. And as I'm going, start putting it into the things that it belongs in and either under the bed or elsewhere. Let's do this. Wow, already, okay, just taking those out. Whew, we can see what is there, what we need to move, what we need to get rid of. There is my shoe shelf and some shoes that I haven't worn in probably two years. I'm almost certain because obviously I couldn't get to them and my foot has been in a boot for like nine months. There are some tubes to my nebulizer. That doesn't belong there. My laundry needs to get to the laundry room. This sewing table, I used to get so much use out of it. I think I inherited it from my grandmother-in-law, but I just don't use it very often anymore. And when and if I start sewing again, like on a regular basis, I'll just use one of the tables, you know, in the house because it's just, it was back here gathering dust for I don't know how long. We have a fire safe right here, but it's broken. Things happened, long story. So it's broken. I doubt it's gonna protect any of our important things in a fire since it's broken. So this needs to be replaced. This shoe shelf, it is falling apart. It, you can tell that it's like on a, on a slant. I think my husband said the same thing was happening with his, plus his is, are there even shoes there? It looks like it's like snowboarding stuff. Then we have the Disney and hiking, that's my hiking backpack. This tote that has like hats and ears for when we go to the parks, that is gonna go up here somewhere. My goal, my hope is to be able to use this side to store all the Disney stuff, but without having to have drawers and shelves and all of that. I am also going to take down this picture holder, plate holder thing that does have the hats that I kept. I did get rid of several, oh my goodness, so many hats and visors, and I don't want this on my wall anymore. Ah, uh, young love. And I did go ahead and hang this hat holder thing there. You do have to kind of push the hook on, but once it's on there, it's on there pretty sturdy. Let's go ahead and grab these cords and put them with the nebulizer. I'd say we can cross one thing off the list. Oh, that feels so good. It turns out I was wrong. This is not the same clip strip thing. This one you put on a hanger and so then it'll hang sideways in your closets. It is time for an update. I've moved the drawers out, moved the shelves and whatnot out. I've got several pair of really nice sneaks in here that I'm not using. <laughs> These are my favorites. I always anymore just buy these Brooks and they're discontinued, so they're getting harder and harder to find, but they are what I wear. Oh, P.S. I am back in the boot again because of course I am. This <laughs> It's painful, guys. It's painful, but it's got to get done. I do have others though that I don't need anymore. Like either the fit wasn't amazing, like the Hoka's that I already took out of here, or I've worn them down and then I don't want to get rid of them because I'm like, oh, but that could be a pair for gardening. Now, these are not in perfect shape, but the tread is still fantastic. It's mostly just, this is the same thing that happens every time they tend to wear along that edge. And so then I replace them. But these <laughs> brand new, <laughs> get ready. Hey, feet are important. 
feet are important. Your footwear is vital. If you are not going to invest anywhere else in anything else, at least invest in your feet. So I found some that actually work for my very short, very wide little elephant feet, and I'm sticking with them. Next time I order, I've got to order like three pairs, but that's going to be really hard because they cost like $130 per pair. Yes. Especially, it used to be you could get them for like 85 bucks, but now, like, because they've been discontinued and the newest edition of them is not amazing, now <laughs> they're a lot pricier, but they're worth it. So I am going to gather them up and sell what we don't need. These are an old pair of flip-flops. I've repaired them I don't know how many times. I have another pair right here that work beautifully. These are fantastic. These are a dumpster salvaged treasure from ages ago. Why am I keeping broken ones? That's silly. So much progress. So we've got the tote over there. I added a few more ears and hats to it that were just kind of hanging out down here. And then there is my traveling laptop case. I kept this shelf here for now and I've got a tote of our Disney stuff there. This, as planned, is full of hoodies. These are my like day to day, I could go dumpster diving, I could work in the garden, I could go hiking kinds of hoodies. And then my really nice hoodies, they are here. This one that my sister-in-law got me, isn't that fantastic? And then this one that I got for myself and this fabulous Mickey coat that one of our viewers sent. Those are here. I've also put up one shirt. I need to do my laundry and then I will have several more. So I'm not gonna get rid of these hangers till my laundry is done. I've got three pair of jeans hanging here and I know I have at least two more in my drawers, my dresser drawers. Then we have the fabulous scarf holder. Isn't that great? Oh, I love it. So much dust. Over here in the former Disney, now Lego corner, I need to replace the bulb overhead, so sorry, the lighting is terrible. I have emptied this whole thing because I used that shelf that had my sweaters that really was not working for them. I moved it over here and was able to stack all of our Lego stuff and got all of that off of this shelf. So what if I put this shelving unit in my closet and then used the totes and baskets here, what if I did that? And that way I wouldn't need a dresser anymore. This is what I'm thinking. Of course though, I have to wait till I vacuum. In this under bed tote, and I have gotten all the clothes out from under my bed that were there. They're my former Thinspiration clothes. We're talking, I mean, clothes I've had for ages and ages, back when I was like a size six, a size four, nonsense. They are going bye-bye. But these clothes have only stopped fitting comfortably since this happened and I was laid up on the couch for months and months and months. So I think it is absolutely appropriate to keep these ones. I changed my mind. Those clothes are going to go into this tote. It has a much lower profile and I think I want to save that one and that one, the bags, for my wedding dresses. I think I will be glad that I did. Over here, I did have to change some things that weren't quite working. I've got the backpacks, the mini backpacks and fanny packs over there and I found that you need like two hangers to put this around for it to be sturdy enough. Also, it's not going to stay right here. This is kind of a temporary because I'm going to need to be able to get over to my clothes. Yep, I brought that over. Isn't that wonderful? And I'm going to use these for now, these ones, but I want to get some that fit better. And this, I'm not sure where, maybe like over here somewhere so that it's just out of the way. And I ended up putting the pillows, the neck pillows there and put a pin in the wall there to hold the, these hats. I moved the tote with my sweaters up there so that my husband's snowboarding boots could go right there. The shoe rack thing is gonna go and he'll go through his shoes and whatever else, maybe even some of these clothes and get rid of them and definitely some of those. And I'm going to order another of those totes for his sweaters. I am also going to order something like this one, but more sturdy. This would be fine in a drawer, but where I'm putting these on shelves, I don't think that's going to work very well. So I'm gonna have the girls use this one and we're gonna get rid of their old dresser because, oh, I hate that dresser, and they will get this one. What if I put my Disney backpacks and the other hats into this? If I do, where am I going to put it? I mean, I could 
<clears throat> Once we clean James's side out, then this will be so much tidier and maybe my sweater tote could go there and so then the backpacks and hats could go up on top. That okay, that makes way more sense so I can easily get to my sweaters, but the hats and backpacks are up there. I did go ahead and pull all the shoes out of my husband's side. We threw out that broken shelf, I scooted his clothes over so I could get in and vacuum. We need to put in, it's pretty obvious, another support here in the closet. I know I have one, I just gotta figure out where I put it, and then we can get that put in, oh, I don't know, next week, maybe. Not today, that's for sure. Oh, so much better, I am telling you. Getting all the pants out of my dresser. I'm gonna have to get some totes from Temu to put down in that bottom shelf, but until then I will just fold and stack my pants. Except for the jeans, which I'm hanging here, including the jean shorts. So I'm gonna look on Temu's website and I'm gonna get one of those ones that holds, you know, that folds down and that way they aren't taking up so much room this way. It sucks because I had one and I got rid of it in our initial declutter. The first item that I got rid of that I am now regretting. <laughs> okay, tell me if this is a crazy idea, frugal friends. What if I had this instead of on the shelf because it sticks out, what if I had it up here? And what if I put my handkerchiefs in it, you know, because you know mama loves a handkerchief, and just put them in these little pockets. That way I could see what all I had at all times. And then I can use this fabulous tote that my mom made for me for something else. Another thing that I plan to order from Temu is a light or a couple of lights to put in here. That would be so helpful, especially since I'm going to be getting dressed over here. Yeah, there's no outlets down here. So, but we do have a surge protector thing right there. So maybe I could plug one in and have a lamp right here. Maybe, maybe that really pretty beaded lamp that I was thinking I was gonna get rid of, that could go here or even the crow could go here, but I would really rather that my crow lamp go by my bed. I'm gonna have to have something here though. I know they do have some lights that are like strips of lights and you can just like push button, turn them on or some of them are like motion sensor activated. I'm gonna look into that. Soon as I get all the clothing moved over, then I'm gonna start filling these with the Disney stuff, for instance. Our magic bands, ugh. magic bands, lanyards, all of this kind of stuff. All right, I've emptied the other two drawers. Now, socks and underwear. And I do, like I had said, need to do laundry. So there will be more. I almost have this emptied. All that's left is part of the sewing machine. It's the embroidery attachment and some of my special Disney stuff down here. I will find homes for them. I was gonna show you, I put the jewelry up here. This is not the permanent home. This is just for now until I figure out what I wanna do. Maybe I will hang a, a necklace holder right here or something like that. I, I really don't know yet. And I did incorporate a couple of my stuffed animals. I might incorporate more. This is what I've got so far. Oh, other jewelry there while I figure out what I'm doing. Uh, laundry, this, this bottom shelf will fill up with pants and such. But yeah, there you go. That's That's where we've made it and how we have utilized some of these fabulous Temu products. I mean, this just feels awesome. The only thing that will feel more awesome is when we move this dresser out of here. So much progress. All right, I brought down all of James's sweaters and long sleeve shirts and work shirts, and I don't think we need even half of these anymore because now, since his promotion, he wears like a uniform that his work washes for him. I just don't think we need all these. Then, whew, I put all of his snowboarding clothes into this tote that used to have all the stuffed animals, which I still need to figure out where are those are gonna go, but this just made sense to go ahead and do this. So snowboarding stuff there. Then I used his shelf that was with sweaters to put my sweaters up on top of so that, and it would be nice to have it down here, but I don't think it fits. So anyway, maybe some of my stuffed animals can go here. And then 
Oh, or some of James's sweaters and long sleeve shirts and then his other sweaters and long sleeve shirts, hopefully in one of these totes. This feels, oh my God, I can't even, are there words for how good this feels? I, the crazy thing is I never would have thought that this was possible. Impossible things are happening every day. I am tired, frugal friends, but it is a good tired. It is a wonderful tired. I am not done yet, so please do come back, be subscribed, have your little bell notification so that when I bring you back to finish this adventure, you'll know about it. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for clicking the link in the video description. Yes, thanks in advance. The more people that click links of my sponsors, the more sponsors we will get and be able to do giveaways and fun things and oh my goodness, so much that I have planned and wanna do with you and for you. So please do hit up that link. Plus it's 30% off, 30% off. That is such a great deal. Thank you Temu for sponsoring this video. Guys, this is absolutely worth it. I can't even tell you how good it feels. Even though I'm in pain, it feels so good to be like liberated, you know, from all of our junk and dust and webs. <sighs> what are you working on to make your home, your space, your environment, even your mind a better place? Tell us about it in the comments so that we can support each other and cheer each other on. Have a beautiful day.